EPON has resulted in a multi-language open resource, well-structured and user-friendly e-learning platform, which aims to reflect professional experience in pathology without borders of languages, costs or technical skills. The program is co-financed as a project of the Lifelong Learning Program of the European Commission. The platform is free for use and is initially available in five languages to 13 institutions throughout the world. It is likely to be of great interest and utility to a wide range of end users, since it can be exploited for both public and private educational sectors, either in a distant learning process or a physical teaching process, providing programs specifically tailored to the needs of students researchers and professionals. EPON platform consists in two sections, general pathology and systemic pathology. The first one deals with basic aspects of pathology, such as inflammation and neoplasia, while the latter presents the various organs systems of the human body in its units chapters. Every chapter begins with an overview section, goes on with the presentation of several case studies, which represent the most important and innovative section of the project, and ends with an image-based test. Glossary terms with their definitions are provided, and relevant resources and web links are available for further study. The innovative, challenging new perspective of our project is to teach users how to think as experienced pathologists. EPON project does not aim to provide just another online tool for studying among the excellent existing ones, but to transform the extensive amount of available knowledge into experience through mixed learning pathways supported by a considerable amount of case data and a rich variety of components of the ICT system, such as glossary, virtual photo gallery, and thematically divided resources. Taking advantage of modern image technology, the program provides extended microscope high-resolution images supported by educational videos and relevant virtual slides. The learner does not receive just a series of images of thesis, but essence, which is the analytical way of thinking behind images, the process to reach the correct diagnosis. Based on the principle that performing a preclinical procedure make students more prepared and knowledgeable. The use of case studies supplies users with the opportunity to consolidate their knowledge, increase their understanding and improve their skills. As an example of the application of our educational concept, mention can be made of the neoplasms of the testis EPON systemic pathology chapter. In the overview section, after the objectives of the chapter are defined, normal tissue architecture is briefly presented, and then the pathological patterns with regard to the various tumor types of the testes are analyzed. Tissue architecture is always described by means of representative microscope image collections, along with brief appropriate texts. The image collection is composed of multiple high-resolution and legible images, which are often marked in order that the most important diagnostic morphological findings are highlighted. Educational videos and relevant virtual slides are provided to help users further consolidate the acquired knowledge. The case study section which follows reproduces step-by-step the same diagnostic procedure that an expert pathologist follows in his everyday routine. The users are asked to follow it themselves through the platform. 
An original case study is presented with images accompanied by targeted questions or comments in order to help users focus their attention on the valuable diagnostic features among all morphology characteristics of testicular neoplastic cells and not on confusing details. Simulating real life, users, like professional pathologists, may need additional information so as to define the correct diagnosis. Therefore, they can select the data that they believe are of diagnostic value in each specific case study among five fields immunohistochemistry, histochemistry, further laboratory data, more detailed patient history, and imaging. Some information will not be needed or is already known from the clinical scenario at the beginning of the case study presentation. Users should be able to select the useful information, disregarding that of no diagnostic value. As an example, on clicking immunohistochemistry, a number of necessary and possibly unnecessary markers becomes available. For each useful immunohistochemical marker chosen, one or more enlargeable high-resolution images are provided. Images are, of course, accompanied by brief informative legends. In this chapter, the same applies to the histochemistry additional information section. The purpose of these additional information fields is to make users familiar with the process of correlating pathological to other clinic laboratory data in order to achieve the correct diagnosis. Subsequently, users are asked to choose the right diagnosis among four alternative diagnoses. The correct answer is analytically justified by a detailed explanation which comes next and includes several apt comments on each of the previously presented images, clarifying the diagnostic significance of each image. After the correct diagnosis is justified, it is clarified why the other diagnostic alternatives cannot be accepted and basic guidelines for the differential diagnosis are provided. Furthermore, practical tips on the correct pathologic report underlying the importance of some pathologic information are supplied. In the image-based test, the user's acquired diagnostic experience can be evaluated by means of single-answer or multiple-choice image-based questions. Other enlargeable high-resolution images are provided. The users are asked to identify patterns of lesions and specific diagnostic features on their own. A review of the whole test is provided at the end. By doing all this, EPON aims to make end-users able to think as experienced pathologists and develop proper competencies. Through continual advances in e-learning modalities, medical students' learning and performance will hopefully be widely improved. In our opinion, EPON experiential learning concept is likely to open up new perspectives in science education.